All right, first thing you're going to do, you're going to click right here on Italy map. It's going to open up. And while this is opening, why don't you review some of the directions on there? Just kind of cruise through them real quick. Okay? And then make sure you have put your name, date, and period at the top on the left-hand corner. 27. Today's the 27. All right, so you've got your name, date, and period up there. Uh, if you want to scroll down and read through the directions real quick, uh, it's helpful. Today you're going to be creating a, a map using the drawing tool on Google Drive. Okay, and you're going to be labeling a couple of places. Okay, and I have directions on what I want labeled down here. Okay, as well as where to get your stuff from. All right, but I'm going to just walk through this with you really quick because I can just explain it easier. But if you're stumped, go back to your directions. Okay, so our first step says use a search engine of your choice to find a readable map of Italy. Uh, a search engine would be Google. So let's go to Google. Okay, you could do Bing, but let's rock it Google style. Okay. And we're going to type in map of Italy. After you've clicked map of Italy, go ahead and click on images. And we want to find a map that is pretty clear and that is a pretty good size. Now I'm going to show you something really quick. Put your mouse over any of these. You see how it has the dimensions? Okay. The easy way to kind of think about this and estimate it is see how it says this one says 1200 by 1694 that would be like 12 inches by 16 inches in real life okay so that means if you open it it's gonna be big but it's gonna be clear and you can shrink it a little bit uh, for this I would probably go with something around 5 by 8 500 by 800 or something like that it doesn't really matter but if you get closer to that it would be better so let's see, I like, where was there, there was a nice one on here, oh here we go, uh, I like this little green one here, you might have a different map, but you want it to be kind of nice, okay, so I'm going to open it, I'm going to click on view image, so that I just have the picture there, and then I'm going to copy it, now on your Chromebook, to copy, you take your two fingers, and you push it on the mouse pad and it'll open up like you right click it okay and then you hit copy okay so I'm on my desktop I'm just gonna go to copy image and now I'm good with that part okay then I'm going to go back to my map click down here after number eight enter down oops come on purple don't get crazy what is it doing there we go. And I'm going to go down to my next page. Okay, Here's the part people just try to jump ahead and you get lost. So follow along with this part. If you don't have a map yet, just go from there. All right. You go up here. You click Insert. Drawing. And it's going to open up this little checkerboard thing. This is your canvas. Okay, as if you're in art class and you're doing a painting. Okay. Go ahead and paste it, paste your map there, do control V, or you can try right clicking it again and pasting it. Okay, and they're going to say they ask you to do these, fine, get crazy Google, control V, and it'll say creating images, give it a second, and then bam, I'm going to resize mine so I can see most of it. Okay, that actually would be a good rule of thumb to resize it so that you see the whole Italy right there. Okay. Now your next step, we have to draw on this. We're going to act like this is underneath the sheet of paper and we're holding it up to a light box or to a window okay, to trace it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click next to this straight line where it says select line. And I'm going to go down here to scribble. Okay, and then very simply, I'm going to start tracing 
the borders of Italy all the way around. Okay? So let's go ahead and start on that. You're going to take your time. You don't have to get it all done. I'm going to do mine quick just for the sake of recording this. Yours should look better. Okay. So I go down. Here's my boot. There's the knee of the boot. Okay, so you're finishing this up. You're finishing your line at least on here. Okay, yours will look way better than mine. I'm just doing this fast. And remember, as you're going through, if you try to hold it down and go all of the way around, and you mess up at the very end and want to hit delete, it's going to delete the whole thing. Okay, so maybe do like a little bit at a time, like go to here, take your finger off the mouse, right, and then click it again to make little lines. That would probably be in your best interests. Yes. So you've finished tracing it. Okay, now we need to label some places on here. There are a couple cities I would like you to label, some mountains and some rivers. Okay, I'm going to show you real quick how to do the cities. And we're going to start with Rome. Okay, Rome is kind of where the knee would be of this boot. Okay, if you imagine it like a boot, here's Rome. Okay. Uh, so there's a couple things you can do. You can either put a circle there, draw a circle, or I'm going to go to shape, and I'm going to insert, oh, I'm just going to do a little tiny circle. Okay, trace it over it, bam, maybe I'll change my color of it. You don't have to, you can just keep it the way it is. Okay, and I'll click outside, and right there, that black spot's going to be Rome. Okay. Now, to put the writing there, to actually label it, I'm going to open up a text box, put it right there, and just write Rome. Stretch it out. I'm going to write it small. I'm going to change the font to be kind of small. I'm going to do, let's just do 8 for now. Whoops. Okay. And then we're, we're going to get to a part where we're going to delete the the picture so it'll be easier to see. Okay, uh, Now, you're going to have to look up some mountain ranges and some rivers because my map doesn't have it on it. If your map has it on it, you're perfect. You just need to trace over those. Okay, But I'm going to have to go to another map and look up the Arno River and uh, a couple others. But I know just from history that the Arno River is around here-ish. Okay? Uh, so I'm going to draw a new line right there. So I'm going to take my nice scribble tool, draw a little line that traces along it a little bit. Don't copy my line. Okay, you'll have to look yours up, make sure it's the right direction. Okay, and I'm going to change the color of it to blue because it's a river. And there you go. Okay, for mountain ranges, I recommend using the shapes one and doing a triangle. I know it's very creative, but it's a triangle. Okay? And see these elevated areas? This is the Alps mountain range. Okay? So this is across the top. So I'm going to draw a couple of triangles. However big you want to do them is fine. I'm going to change my color. I'm going to make mine brown. Okay? Let's leave it black on the outside. And I'm going to copy and then paste. And I should get a couple other ones. But you know what? This is getting kind of crowded, so I'm going to delete the picture behind here. To do that, all I do is click it and push delete or backspace. And bam, now I have an awesome map. Okay, yours will look better. Okay, because you'll have all the rest of the mountain ranges and stuff on here. Okay, I'm going to copy and paste my little triangles. Okay, because I know that the, the Alp runs across the top. Okay, if you'd like to just trace out and then fill in the Alps and the mountain ranges, that's fine. Uh, just make sure you label all the other places that you should be labeling. Okay, and then when I'm done, I'm going to hit save and close. And it's going to insert it, bam, right there on my document. Okay. 
D-N.